Okay, so we come to the second exercise for using sound in Touch Designer. So the last one we used to we we use the the analyze to have a look of the volume of the sound playing back. So in this one we are going to use a more sophisticated object to visualize uh, more than the volume, but this frequency spectrum of the sound as a creative output. So we create a new one. So name it at play sound 002 and then include also the audio folder. And then again we tidy up the desktop and try to like copy one of the sound loop into the audio folder. Drag it directly to the Touch Designer project. So we also use the audio device out to play back it to the sound card of the computer. That's it. So I also turn down the volume. And instead of using the analyzer to obtain the, the energy or the, the volume intensity of the sound, so we use another one from CHOP that I already mentioned is the audio spectrum. And then connect it over here. So if we take a look, actually you saw the two channel in the frequency spectrum. Um, then the left hand side is the lower pitch, the right hand side is the higher pitch. And in the parameter window, we can also customize the details of the spectrum. And what we're going to do is try to make use of, for example, either in channel 1 or channel 2. So that graph or that the diagram over here we try to convert it into a top there's the texture operator there's an image and then use it to visualize that particular sample of the sound so the dimension of the width of the image that we have in the educational license actually is 1280 so in that case we try to change the size of the FFT and then the output length I try to set it manually to 1280 so this is the, the one I'm going to use it to convert into an image and for the FFT side that may not be necessary to have a very high value so I just found the one a little bit higher than the one we want to have this 2048 so now we have this two channel and we can actually extract the one that we want that is up to you that we can have channel 1 or channel 2 so I just pick up the channel 1 so if you take a look of this one, so that will be its frequency domain of the channel 1 in this spectrum. What I would like to do is try to make sure everything will be lie in 0 to 1. So I will use another chop with the name called limit to limit the value of this spectrum and if you take a look at the parameter window the initial is off that means the no matter what value it just come through and I will choose clamp clamp is actually the limit that try to clamp or restrict or constrain those values within a range so I type the range of 0 and 1 and then I'll further do a normalize 
so to make it a little bit more easy to use so otherwise I may need to do a mess by myself to scale up or scale down the range of those value so now we have this frequency domain chart that the maximum will always be one and then the other value are kind of normalized according to this range so to convert this range of number to an image we go back to the image that's top there's a special command that we will use it pretty often later it's the name called chop2 so chop2 is actually a facility for you to easily convert a sequence of number into a sequence of pixel so the way that you can work to it, just drag this one and put it to the chop op operator or the space over there and then you will see one line of pixel so the brighter area correspond to higher value in this and then the, the darker area is somewhere with the value close to zero okay so now we have just one line of pixel and to do something like the color bar exercise we have done before this we can send it to our resolution top and in the resolution top we can customize to our own resolution that we used to have and then change the aspect ratio to the resolution and at the same time we can also change the pixel format because in this one we are only using one single channel of the data format so it is always black and white and gray so in here we can change it to the proper 8-bit graphics that is from the red green blue and alpha each one of them and 8 bits so a total of 32 bits of graphics so now you have this visualization and then you can connect it back to the output window and then as usual you can go out of the project one click the perform window change the view and border so the music playback continue I turn on the volume a little bit so the full screen displays will be something like this so the bright area correspond to the higher volume of this particular spectrum of frequency so the left hand side is the lower frequency the right hand side is the higher frequent so we do have quite a lot in the lower pitch but not that much in the higher pitch that is around somewhere in here So this is the second demonstration how we can easily visualize sounds in touch designer.